Yo, today's video, I'm gonna keep it short. I'm pretty much predicting the Premier League table for this 2019 to 20 season. Now, without any further ado, I'm just gonna say it with chess. I think Man City have already won the league. Like, when you look at the. As much as I like Liverpool, like obviously I'm an Arsenal fan, yeah, but as much as I like Liverpool, when you look at the Man City team, yeah, obviously they have Aguero, Sterling, Sane, Mahrez, but then on the bench, the players that they can bring on are still capable of slapping every single team in the league with ease. With ease. Like obviously, I think Liverpool's are one exception of when they do play each other. So Liverpool's first team and Man City's second would still be a close game. Like Man City's first is still a close game, I think. When I look at it, I think Liverpool could actually beat the first team. They could. But I think both teams, both Man City first and second team, are capable of putting up a decent fight against Liverpool, who are their closest rivals. And everyone else is getting that swept away. Man U gets swept. Arsenal gets swept. Chelsea gets swept. Tottenham. <clears throat> Sorry for my language. But they're getting swept. Literally every team in the league is getting swept by the Man City first and second team. So, yeah, I think Man City have won the league. Like, I'll come back to this at the end of the season if I remember. But I think Man City have won the league. Second, I think Liverpool. Because I think out of all the teams from last season, they've probably advanced the least in terms of they've made the least upgrades. But I think Jurgen Klopp's looked at the team and been like, yo, attack is patterned. Midfield is patterned. Like maybe we could get a couple better midfields, but still we got Fabinho, Wijnaldum, Milner. Like the midfield's patterned. Defense, best left back in the league, best right back in the league, best centre back in the world. And then they've got Matip or they've got Gomez next to him. And then got Alisson's calm. Like yeah, he's injured, but this Adrian guy's coming in. He's playing well. So when you look at their team everywhere, like where can you improve it? They just don't have the depth that Man City have. But yeah, now third spot I think is gonna be a bit more up for grabs this season. Like, I'm an Arsenal fan. We should have come third last season, but Emery the clown, um, last couple of games took it way too easy. We lost silly, silly teams that we just shouldn't be losing to. Um, do I think Arsenal have the ability to finish third? Yes. Um, I think all we needed to have done for me to be 100% confident uh, is probably just change our defence. But still, we've got in Tierney. We've got in Saliba, but he's coming in next year. So there's no point like talking about it, bringing him into this discussion. Uh, but we still got Mustafi, and the way I look at it, as long as he's at the club, we're not getting top three. But top four, I think as an Arsenal fan, all Arsenal fans, if we're not getting top four, that transfer window was just like, what was the point? It was that like fake hype, like, yeah, you're getting us all gas, but like, in reality, we're not actually moving forward. Who do, who do I think will finish third? Do I look at it? I think Man U actually doing quite well. Did they, will they finish third? I don't, I mean, you look at their game against Chelsea, 4-0, that's a beating. Like, that's a beating. Like, Chelsea have been slapped, but it's first game of the season. Then you have to look at it and be like, yeah, it's first game of the season for Man U as well. And look how they've turned up for it. So, I don't know. I want to say Arsenal third, but I want to keep it honest. And the way I see it is, I think, oh, Man U will finish third. Arsenal finish fourth. Um, then I look at it. Who's finishing fifth? I mean, it's kind of harsh, but I think Tottenham. <coughs> <coughs> ah, sorry for my language. Then um, it's harsh because, like, as an Arsenal fan, I try to say I hate them, obviously, but I look at their team. I'm like, yeah, they have got a better team than us, but. Are they actually moving anywhere? Like, yeah, second in the Champions League. Um, like, they lost Champions League final, but like, when you look at that game, like, they, they, they were, they were never gonna win that game at any point. Like, from the moment the ball was kicked off, they were not in the game. So, yeah, they got there. They beat some good teams, but like, when it mattered, they didn't deliver. And I think that's a common theme for them in the league as well. Like, when it matters, like, what is it? Arsenal, we drew one-one with them at home. No, for them it was home. For us it was away. We have a poor away record. We still got a draw at their stadium and in reality it should have been we should have won the game like Aubameyang missed the penalty and then their penalty was offside but Mustafi the clown like yes it was a foul but it was offside so like really we had our chances to win that game so I think when it matters they I'm not saying the name but they don't really like turn up so I do think they're gonna finish fifth this season and sixth I think it's Chelsea like I think Chelsea fans just have to admit you're not getting top four this year like if you do then mad but what is it you lost Hazard you gained Pulisic Pedro, Giroud, William, 
Like these, when you say these players, these aren't players that get you excited. Like Arsenal, you got Lacazette. Like a blood class, that rude boy. A bummyan. About my who? About my what? About my blood clan. Pepe. Pedro. I mean, we even took David Luiz from you just to mock it even more. But yeah, I think honestly, like, I don't even hate Chelsea like that. I just there's no way you're finishing top four. Like, unless everyone has like, a disastrous season, you're not finishing top four, like, whether you like it or not. Now, seventh place, last season it was a bit tight, but this season I think if Everton aren't getting seventh, there's something seriously wrong because the amount of signings they've made, like, they took a Wobi, and that hurt me because I don't think we should have sold I think we should have sold Mkhitaryan. But they took a Wobi, they got in, where is it, the guy from Juventus, the striker, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Moyes Keane, they got bare players, like they got so many people, they got Delph, they got so many people, I literally forgot half of them, but they got so many players this season, so I think, if they're not finishing 7th, or at least competing for 7th, because 7th is like best of the rest, like when you look at the other teams, if you're not top 6, you're not a top 6 club, you're not getting the top 6, so you have to look at 7th place as the best possible finish, and I think Everton are more than capable of doing that, I'm literally, I've just got the Premier League table here on my phone, on my iPad, I'm looking at who do you think can finish or compete with Everton? I think Wolves can compete with Everton. Newcastle maybe can compete. Like we played them first game of the season. We obviously we won, but it was only one nil. And yeah, again like the Chelsea Man U game. Yes, yeah, the first game of the season, but we've all these teams have had pre-season to get ready. They know how important this game is. So saying oh it's only the first game. Like, yeah, you're gonna improve, but your players were ready for the games. So They're saying that they weren't ready for the first game. No excuse. And Arsenal, we didn't play that well. Like, we were lucky to have won the game at the end of the day and to keep a clean sheet. Newcastle played very well. I do think, I, I literally do see them competing for 7th, 8th. So, I'm going to say Newcastle 8th. Um, 9th place. Hmm. I mean, Leicester just lost Maguire, so that's, that's a bit peak. I think I'm going to put Wolves there. Just because of how well they played last season, I don't think they've gone backwards. If anything, they've gone forwards. I'm not going to lie, I don't know who on earth they've signed. Like, I stopped caring about football for the first half of summer. Uh, so, I don't know who they have signed. But I think Wolves can finish ninth. Watford, my local club. I don't like them at all. I hate the fans. They're finishing 10th, that's all I'm going to say about them. They took Welbeck off of us. Good for you. You got slapped 3-0 by Brighton, I swear. First game of the season. So, yeah, you're finishing 10th. Um, and, yeah, pretty much... Bournemouth as well, Bournemouth are a good team. Bournemouth could compete for that 10th place. That 10th and 11th between Watford and Bournemouth. I think Watford, Bournemouth are going to have a very good season with Callum Wilson. They tried to slap a 75 mil asking pass from Callum Wilson. Has he ever even hit 15 goals in a season? I don't think he has. I mean, he might have, but he's never hit 20. And they're asking for 75 mil. Okay, Bournemouth. I mean, Chelsea were desperate, but they're not that desperate. Like... I look at the table. I think Norwich could compete for 12th. I mean, yeah, they got slapped 4-1 by Liverpool, but A, it's away at Anfield, and they won the second half. Like, yeah, as silly as it sounds, there were two halves of football played. Liverpool finished the game in the first half, but then in the second half, they kind of relaxed. And even if they... They can claim they relax, but at the end of the day, you can't ever like switch off. No matter who your opponents are, no matter what the time is in the game, you can't ever switch off. And the fact that they conceded the goal to Norwich, so they didn't keep a clean sheet at home, and Arsenal kept a clean sheet away, and you look at the Liverpool defence, they have Van Dijk, Robertson, they had Gomez. Like, yeah, they had Adrian. Would Alisson have saved that? Probably, but you, 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 have, you can only beat what's in front of you. And that Puka guy, the striker, that was a good finish. So... I think I see Norwich competing for that top spot. Crystal Palace, 13th. Zaha has lost the motivation. I think he's looked at it, he's been like, yo, my dream move was Arsenal. And I think the way he's looking at the club now is like, he's done all he can to help Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace clearly don't want to keep the same energy with him. All he asked for, he, he fully got transfer listed. He asked, he transfer requested, handed the transfer request. And he's like, yo, can I move? I've always wanted to play for them. Like, I've been with you for how many years now? I've done all I can. Just let me go to my dream club. And in return, you get bare money. Just don't set it at anything silly. Crystal Palace are like, oh, yeah, yeah we hear you, Wilfred. Uh, Arsenal, is it all right if you have um, 100 mil for this guy who's never even hit 15 goals in a season? So, yeah, I think 30. I literally, other than Zaha, I've got nothing to say about Crystal Palace. Uh, 
the team's okay, but without him, they're literally relegation candidates. So I think he can keep them up in 13th. Um, who else have we got here? I think, yeah, I put Leicester 14th. Vardy, you're not getting relegated if you've got Vardy in your team. Mate. He's one of those strikers where even if it looks like you're going to get relegated, he will, even if he starts slow, he will pick up the pace. And I'm not even talking about how quick he is, but literally with the goals, he will pick up the pace towards the end of the season. And he gets enough goals to avoid Leicester from getting relegated. Like, yeah, they lost Maguire, but I don't think that would hit them too hard. So, 14th for Leicester. 15th, I'm going to say Southampton. They haven't got a bad team, um, apart from the fact that they're literally just a production company for Liverpool at this point. Uh, their team right now is calm. They've got Nathan Redmond. They've got... Uh, they got players. <laughs> they got players that will get them into 15th place. 16th. It's peak, but I'm going to say West Ham. Um, I might have been putting them a bit low down, but I think with West Ham, they always buy a lot of players. Like, they bought Anderson last year. Didn't really do anything. Like, I swear they bought Yarmolenko. Didn't really do anything. So, like, West Ham fans getting gas that they've bought in. Um, that ha Haller guy, the striker, like... They always buy players, they never get relegated, but they're always buying players and it, it just doesn't always work out. So you can get excited all you want, but the fact is, I mean, you've done it before. Like, what, what's to say this guy's going to be different to all the other people you've already had? So that's what I say about um, West Ham. I think we're down to 17th. Like, I'll, I'll double check this in the editing. I think I've missed out a number somewhere. But 17th, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Burnley, because Burnley have a good team and they've been up for a few years and they haven't really had a relegation scale, like they've been mid-table, but I think Brighton, this is the season they go down. Now, last year, I think the only reason they didn't is because they were able to get points against teams like Arsenal, who just weren't being serious candidates last season. But I think if you consider how serious Arsenal are looking now, those points aren't no longer up for grabs for teams like Brighton, and so... I think they just about scraped promotion, but I don't think, no, not promotion, just scraped safety, but I don't think they'll be as lucky this year, so off you pop, don't like you at all with your player who's laughing at us when uh, you drew to us away, and then the guy starts laughing at all our players looking angry, because that was the game we lost out on top four, so yeah, off you pop, Bradham, see you in the championship, and, hmm, Aston Villa, now, this might seem harsh, uh, I don't want to just put down championship sides just because I don't know much about them. But like, I, I mean, when I look at the Premier League, like the teams have got serious now. And I don't think the Premier League is something you could just come into and just expect to stay there just because you've only just got into it. So, And the way Aston Villa lost to them, they had a good game. Like, they played well, but the way they capitulated in the last few minutes, it showed that you, you have to keep your focus for the whole game in the Premier League. Like the Championship, you can fall off a bit and you lose your focus at the end, but the players around you haven't got enough quality to actually punish you. But with Aston Villa, the way they, they conceded those two goals to Kane, like yeah, it was scruffy, but it was only scruffy because Kane was able to capitalise on the tired defenders. Now they need to work on their fitness, they need to work on their focus because that's just top them. And Harry Kane is probably the best striker in the league. And if you're able to lose focus when you know how high the stakes are, imagine games like when they play Chelsea with unserious people like Tammy Abraham. Like, yeah, he might be good in a few years, but Chelsea, man, like, you're really going into a Premier League season with him as your main striker, Giroud. Like, he's much easier to contain. So when you're facing him, your focus levels are going to be even lower than if you're playing Harry Kane because you know you can't give Kane space but if you give Giroud space it's not that deep so I just don't think Aston Villa's defence and their game management is good enough to keep them up in their Premier League like yes yeah, only one game and they did play well and they will be able to get points against other teams because of how well they did play but the way I see it is if you're going to lose focus like that against a top team then What's to like? How are you supposed to keep your focus against a lower team? Like when you play teams like Burnley, teams like Chelsea. Like how are you supposed to keep your focus against the lower teams? And finally, the team I think is just gonna come last: Sheffield United. I mean, like you got a draw in your first game. Congrats. But yeah, I just don't know. I think if you're gonna be drawing games to Bournemouth, who aren't 
the most serious of candidates. Like, yeah, so, I, no, I don't know. It's an away draw, to be fair. Your first Premier League game in years. And to get an away draw is impressive. But I, I don't know. The way I look at the Premier League right now, like you, some people could say, oh, you, what do you know about football? Like, I watch a lot of football. And the way I see the Premier League, the amount of money that is in the Premier League, even if you're like a team like Burnley, a team like Chelsea, <laughs> that's real. Like, if you're a team like Burnley, Bournemouth, Brighton, like, you're still getting a lot of money. Like, a lot. And these teams, I think Everton proved it. Like, you don't have to be a top six team to spend ridiculous amounts of money. And I think Everton spending that much just shows that these other teams are serious. Like, they're not just settling for uh seventh place that like they want the top six and so if you're getting a draw against Bournemouth then when you do play teams like Everton who traditionally aren't like title contenders nothing too difficult but now they suddenly are if you're drawing to Bournemouth by logic you're getting slapped by Everton so I just know the way I look at it Sheffield United I mean, as much as I hope you can stay up, because it's not nice to see a, a fan base, essentially, all the Sheffield United fans getting really excited that they're finally back in the Premier League, just get relegated. Like, I don't want that to happen. Like, personally, I think there's teams that deserve to get relegated, more like Brighton, teams like West Ham, who we can do without in the Premier League, teams like, I don't know, just other teams that I just don't think deserve to be in the Premier League, or other teams that don't have the level of consistency required to maintain Premier League status but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video I was supposed to do this before the season started shout out to Matthew for suggesting this one uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll be back again soon shot for you car doors get popped in the A man lurk on the twos like I'm from that place catch me up my chef in that street shave man dip him up in this gate well you know about big fat shank in your waist or a tinted dinger containing a gauge slap this dot shows fly in your face back to the block oh do you get